3x lex 3x lex 3x lex back in the building um here today to show off mortal kombat 11 running off running on the mid-level ryzen powered pc that's gonna be offered for this excalibur hybrid system i know a few days ago i showed off a few games running on the entry level system this is the mid-level system uh i just got it in recently i've been doing some testing and i wanted to show off the power of it is very 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 impressive um very impressive in fact it's um so impressive you know i'm starting to kind of almost question the need for a high-end system, even though I'm still going to get one in and have one offered because I know that could take it to an even higher level. But uh, the performance of this is outstanding, especially for the additional price that it will cost. So, uh, you know, this is uh, all I can say is it's really impressive for sure, for sure. Uh, the detail of a lot of these games is something else. So, you know, uh, I'm very, very impressed. Um, I would let me, I'm going to show it off, but I will say this, you know, my early observations is this. I don't want to lose my train of thought. I'll say this. My early observations is this. Um, it can pretty much run any PC game out, I would say. Um, uh, I haven't got around to trying like cyberpunk yet or something super, super heavy. I know Cyberpunk is probably one of the heaviest games out there, but uh, I've thrown some pretty heavy artillery this way. And with the exception of maybe having to bump the resolution down a, a tad here or there, I pretty much get everything to run at full speed. Uh, and this is without me even maxing this system out. Like I've tweaked a few things with it, but she's nowhere near clock to the max, like the entry level system uh, I was running uh, was. I haven't even had it long enough to really tweak it to the max, overclock it to the max to get the max potential out of it. And it's very, very impressive already. Uh, here we got Mortal Kombat 11. Uh, this is a very demanding game. This is Unreal, a ladder version of uh, Unreal 4 engine. Um, and I would say even in this current state, um, this pretty much looks more impressive than the PS4 version, to be perfectly honest. Um, you know, to keep it all the way 100 with you guys, um, it's very impressive graphically. It's just more detailed. Um, and that's what I like about it. This is the ultimate version. On Steam, when they have a Steam sale, this game is like 13 bucks. So, you know, this is nothing to get. It's easy buy. This is a game that's, you know, a few years old now. But as far as on the demanding side of things, it's, it's still pretty up there. You definitely need something with some power to run this uh, game for sure. Like I've tested this on a few uh, systems before this and I couldn't even get this game to run pretty much on all of the lower end Intel based systems. Uh, I couldn't get this game to run pretty much at all. I tossed on some frame skips and some other things. Uh, on a, a few of the uh, lower end systems and it was very choppy. It was pretty much unplayable. It just simply didn't have the power to run this game. But this system is that has definitely taken on that task for sure. Um, very impressive as you can see how detailed it is. And it's smooth too.
pretty much running at the full 60. It's super smooth, but like I say, I've had this game since launch on uh, PlayStation uh, 4, and it, it flat out looks better than that. It's just simply more detailed. Backgrounds, uh, you can see way more details. The characters are more detailed. It's still pretty much just as smooth. And like I say, I haven't even really adjusted any settings yet. I'm sure I could probably get it to look even better. Nor have I done uh, very much overclocking with this system yet. I've tweaked a few things, but the fact that this system can run this bodes well um, for the potential of uh, what this system will be capable of. In fact, after seeing this, I'm so confident. I think this mid-level system is going to do fairly well with the new upcoming uh, RE5 games, uh, Unreal Engine 5 games like Street Fighter 6. Uh, I would say so. I could see those games being play playable uh, at full speed, at least low settings. So, also seeing this, I know that pretty much means pretty much almost any new game is going to be playable on this system. Yeah, because before I got this, I was wondering like, would I be able to run stuff like Guilty Gear Strive, uh, DNF Duel, Fighter Duel. And uh, more and more demanding games that uh, that you know that have my attention, but I have no doubt they'll be able to run if it's running this like this, pretty much. This is a big download too. This game is probably uh, I would say a uh, hundred, pretty much a hundred gigs. So you're gonna need you're gonna definitely need um, uh oh here we go that's a sick fatality there. Ah, that's a killer right there. Very well done. Super detailed. Um, yeah, you're gonna uh without losing my train of thought, you're gonna definitely need um let me backtrack. What I wanted to say is this. This game is um a very demanding game. Before I get into what I was gonna say with that, this is a very demanding game. This bowls well uh for the potential of this system. I feel comfortable saying this system is probably pretty much going to run almost anything out there at full speed. Some games you're going to have to uh, bump down a resolution uh, or two, and uh, you might have to tweak something. But this is a very demanding game. I've tried to run this on like three or four lower power systems, and this game pretty much ate those systems for breakfast. So I'm very impressed with this. Uh, this is good resolution um you know super detailed and like i said i haven't even like maxed this system out uh so the fact that it's handling it like this any pretty much anything you throw at it is going to be good so i'm going to be showing off uh a lot of new games new modern games on this uh this theme is really going to be the way to go guys for a lot of new games and um, it's going to definitely be the way to go because the thing is, uh, you know, it's going to be an impossibility to have a build that's going to have everything on it. You know, some things just simply ain't going to work or it's simply going to take too long to get. So, you know, sacrifices are going to have to be made. This being also being 100, I know what I want to say, this being like 100 gig download when you get this set up, you're going to need an external hard drive messing with Steam. A lot of these more modern games are a lot of space, take up a lot of space. The base drive is like 256 
gigabytes, 256 gigabytes, and it's that share with resources. So it's really knocked down to maybe around 200. I recommend at least picking up one terabyte drive. I'm gonna have those available too, good prices. But uh, this is the cool thing is on the uh, hybrid triple play setup, this is gonna be a low cost upgrade for this mid-level uh, PC. It's going to be a very low cost upgrade. It's going to probably cost you somewhere in the $200 range to upgrade to this system. So it won't add much cost to the bottom line and you'll be getting an extremely capable PC. Man, like I'm very impressed with it. Um, I've been using this. I've tested out the photo editing, video editing, 4K uh, videos, just everything, man. And it's, it's, it's very snappy very very snappy so uh i think you guys would be very impressed with it i feel confident too in saying this is um solidly a gaming pc you know um i wouldn't necessarily say it's a high super high performing performance gaming pc but i feel comfortable saying it's a gaming pc though because the fact that it can do a lot of the things I've already mentioned uh, puts it into that realm and in that category. It's a rising base. It's got the pedigree. It's got everything going for it. So, I like Aaron Black, the cowboy. It just went crazy with the graphics uh, for this version of Mortal Kombat. I know they've been talking about making another one. This game is so good for where it is. I don't think they need to make a, another Mortal Kombat yet. I would rather see them maybe put out another Injustice or if they would, this would be a perfect time to do a crossover game too. Maybe Injustice versus uh, Mortal Kombat. Revisit that MK versus DC thing. They got the two franchises. You might as well just cross them over. This is the perfect time to do it now. Because it's, it's just where we at technology-wise, it's too early to do something uh, with MK again. They pretty much... The gameplay is phenomenal. They pretty much, like, mastered it. This game pretty much at this point. I'm blown away by it. I've been a huge fan of it since it launched. Yeah, so what they could do with it, they can't really do too much more with it graphically now. I mean, gameplay, they can always switch it up, but the game is, is fantastic. So, I mean, you know, I'm not sure what else they could really do. But without going into that and a break, big detail breakdown of uh, the MK Legacy and all that, I'll say that for another video. Anyway, I just wanted to come here, show off the new uh, Ryzen PC running MK11, very demanding Unreal 4 engine game, and uh, the results are fantastic. Anyway, 3XLX out, and I'll get with you on the next one. Going to be showing off more games soon. Peace.